Viewer discretion is advised. Well, as of the recording of this uh, of this show, there is three days until the grand election that everyone is anticipating for midterm election. Will this election even matter? When we look at all the fraud that we see happening already in pre-election polling, in uh, in uh, in the in in several states are reporting uh, that uh, machines are are are, are turning uh, Republican votes into Democrat votes. Uh, we are hearing tell of thousands of illegal immigrants casting votes in in uh, pre-election voting. What's going on out there? Can you trust this election? And by the way, folks, when this election happens. Can you trust the outcome with respect to the president? I mean, the president has already told us what he will do, no matter what this election uh, turnout is. In front of the American people, there are four doors. At door number one, we have the status quo on Wednesday. We have the Republicans running the House, the Democrats running the Senate, and the Obama regime still in charge, pressing their agenda forward. And behind door number two, we have the Democrats taking charge of the House, keeping charge of the Senate, and uh, Obama's uh, regime agenda keeps pressing forward, uh, full steam ahead. Behind door number three, we have uh, a popular uprising that uh, that uh, could rise up and get rid of this president once and for all. Uh, we've seen attempts at this in the past, and there is a brand new uprising uh, that we have been made aware of, and that uprising is uh, called Operation American Freedom. Now, Operation American Freedom, as a group of united, concerned Americans, will travel to Washington, D.C. to publicly address the president and his administration we will outline their, uh, our concerns, it says, in their uh, statement of faith here and, and uh, give just cause for the removal of this entire administration from office. Operation American Freedom is comprised of elected speakers, press corps leader Alan Cheatham, press secretary Brandy Harris, and intel team, press corps, security team, and American citizens from across the nation. That's right. And uh, with us here is one of those elected speakers, uh, Matt Menchu. Uh, Matt, that all sounds very familiar. Didn't we try this already once? Uh, yes, sir. Actually, it's been tried quite a few times. But uh, we're doing. We're we're trying to do something a little differently. We uh we've we've taken all of those, all of those attempts at this, and uh, taken a really really hard look. Man, we've got a team of dedicated people that uh, that have tirelessly tirelessly worked to uh to figure out exactly what went wrong you know and uh uh we're, we're doing everything we can man we're uh we're trying to trying to make a good push for the american people and bring this country back to the state of constitutional law right and uh, and, and that was violated that accountable and, and that was uh, every intent of uh, Operation American Spring. Now, uh, what uh, what is what makes this uh, movement any different? Well, um, for one, we are uh, we are actually have, we actually have a concrete plan of action. Uh, you know, with uh, with Operation American Spring, uh, I I, have, I followed the movement myself. I didn't I didn't get to go up to Washington. Uh, but uh, they had a great, they had a great ploy, man. I mean, and they got, they had thousands of people that followed them to D.C. The only problem was, is once they got there, they didn't know what they were doing. They didn't know what to do. They didn't have an idea. They did not have a plan of action once they got there. And standing there and yell, yelling at the White House is not going to get anything done, unfortunately. Um, but uh, one, the other, we have a few things that we're doing uh, differently. Uh, from what they did, and uh, I mean, they, they had a few little grievances or whatever that uh, within their ranks, and uh, this is what we're doing differently. Uh, we have a concrete plan of action. Yes. We're actually bringing arrest warrants for uh, violating the Constitution. Uh, we have elected leaders. Uh, we vote on everything as a whole, and we have representatives in all 50 states. Uh, and we actually mean to remove them once we get up there. 
What does that look like? Uh, what does that look like? You mean to remove them? Uh, how, how does that work? I mean, uh, Riley, you know, he said that they weren't going to leave until the Obama and his cronies, uh, until they until they get out. Uh, and he was bound and determined to stay until they leave. Uh, I'm just curious, you know, uh, uh, I mean, I'm not really trying to give you a hard time here. I just want to know, what does that look like? How do you, how do you proceed when you get there? Well, uh, we have the support of constitutional sheriffs. Um, if y'all don't know, constitutional sheriffs are basically the supreme of law enforcement body of this country. They can literally arrest anybody for violating the Constitution. And um, yeah, we're going up there with them, and I mean, we're 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 gonna push, and we're gonna we're gonna make this happen one way or another. And uh, the difference between between those guys and uh, and us is we're willing to die for this cause, every single one of us. Because that's what it. That's exactly what it's. What it, what it, if it has to go there, then it has to go there. You know, uh, we're ready, and I mean, we, we're not going up there to to uh, to cause any violence or stir. We're going up there in, in a peaceful protest to demand that these people either step down or be removed. And we have, like I said, we we have arrest warrants written up, and we're going to deliver them up there personally. Arrest warrants, okay, and all of this yes, is being all of this is being drawn up ahead of time. Yes, sir. we uh, we have a we have tireless efforts uh, going on right now. Uh, I mean, and everything that we that we're stating is backed up on paper with proof behind it. Uh, a thousand unconstitutional acts, you know, uh, just all kinds of stuff, man. I mean, the things that that have been going on, uh, you know. With, uh, with the additional stress over the border crisis, the ISIS terror threat, the pending Ebola pandemic, and the refusal by this administration to, from the onset, declare a total ban on travel from a World Health Organization's declared high zone. And I, dude, they've, actually, uh, they've actually started bringing people here at a cost of three hundred thousand dollars to treat these people from Ebola from these hot spots putting all of our lives in jeopardy I mean do you think that's right well, right or wrong, uh, to get rid of the uh, the president uh, requires uh, some sort of high crimes and misdemeanors uh, and violations of Constitution. What are the explicit, explicit articles in the Constitution? Can you cite any articles that he's in violation of? Yeah, you, know, you take the Bill of Rights, man, and uh, and just just read over it once, and you'll read every one of them that's been violated a time or two throughout this administration. And it's it's gotten to the point where it's that bad. You've got you've got journalists and you've got cartoonists that that have been indicted and brought and brought up the charges and stuff and and being being silenced by this administration for doing their jobs. We have a right to free press. That's one of them right there. In my uh, in my opening remarks, uh, Matt. Uh I talked about uh, there were four doors that are in front of the U.S. public. Uh, I only mentioned three of them. The fourth one is that the Republicans take the uh, Senate back and retain the House and gain a majority. Uh, at which point the president has vowed to use his uh, to use his uh, pen and his phone to push forward his agenda. Uh, I mean that is clearly a violation of the Constitution there, which requires the president to uh, go through Congress for wars, etc. Many people have said that Obama has launched illegal wars, uh, going be going behind the the backs of the American people and violating his congressional duty to uh, to get their approval for wars. Uh, I suppose that might qualify, and that might be uh, something to look at. Uh, what uh, you mentioned the uh, constitutional sheriffs. What kind of other people do you have involved in your movement here? Oh man, uh, we've got people from all walks of life, dude. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we've got we've got politicians, we've got stay-at-home moms, constitutional sheriffs, blue-collar workers, truckers, militia members, military personnel, clergymen, veterans. I mean, you name it. But your grocer, you know, you, you're, you're the little lady that that watches your kids. You know, we, everything. We've we've got people from literally everywhere, and and a lot of them are represented in our ranks as far as. Uh, as far as you know, somebody that we can call on to vote uh, a plan of action into, into cause, and they, uh, we speak on a regular basis. Uh, we, matter of fact, it's every night we have an intel briefing, and 
um, all day long, we, uh, uh, especially like today, I've been preparing for this interview, uh, but uh, all day long, you know, I mean, every day it's it's constantly something. You know, we're all we're we've got a whole team dedicated to to finding out and writing down and taking note of all of these unconstitutional acts, putting the the docket numbers and everything down, and that way when we go up there, we're not left like unfortunately on Operation American Spring was, you know, where they were just completely unprepared. Um, our leaders uh, in our group were all we're all elected here. Mm-hmm. I was elected. Uh, my my uh, our other leaders were all elected, you know, and we are we are the ones elected that our group felt were best inclined to to speak their voice. Uh, you know the the one thing the one thing Matt excuse me the one thing that's got me most excited about this and uh, as you know I was uh, involved heavily in, uh, in digging out and and uh, throwing support behind uh, Operation American Spring because I mean let's face it uh, you're looking at all the doors in front of us the one door that doesn't see, that seems to be the only option as far as getting rid of this uh, this fascist regime. Uh, is door number three. It is the popular uprising door. And so, uh, you know, we're excited to see something like that, to see that some people, uh, <clears throat> to uh, to show an interest in their country and to show an interest in uh, restoring uh, the, the republic uh, for what it was intended to be. Uh, and so I'm excited to hear that there are constitution, there's law enforcement involved here that will be drafting... Uh, Arrest warrants, essentially. I mean, that is a huge step forward. Uh, that's something that I don't think the uh, group had. Oh, absolutely, uh, man. We we've got we've looked in. I mean, we've went over everything with a fine tooth comb. And uh, luckily, you know, uh, we have you know a lot of military and veterans on our personnel that not only do it, they have a plan of action, but they have a plan B, a plan C, a plan D. Right. And you know, we, I mean, I think I think we've pretty much covered all bases, you know, and I mean, I'm sure, um, of course, you know, I'm sure, you know, they're going to throw us a curveball here and there, but um, the, I'm very confident in our ability to handle that situation. Well, I mean, a curveball could even uh, escalate into something uh, like a martial law situation. Uh, you know, uh, you guys have been endorsed by Karen Smith. Now, uh, many of our followers will know that Karen Smith, she was the uh, media liaison for uh, Colonel Riley and for Operation American Spring, and she left early because she heard uh, rumblings of a of a bloodbath that was uh, that was uh, you know a distinct possibility. In fact, such a distinct possibility that uh, she uh, left in fear for the lives of uh, her friends and uh, maybe even herself if she showed up. Uh, but she has endorsed your movement here, and, and that's high praise. Absolutely, uh, and I, I thank her for it. I actually heard uh, her interview with you uh, today, as a matter of fact. I didn't get to hear it on air because I'm here in Louisiana. Um, but um, I heard her interview today online with you, and uh, I don't think I could give us any better press than what she did, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm very thankful to uh, to have her support in this. Uh, she seems like a great woman, but, you know, in leaving, if, uh, and, you know, we have made it very, very clear that we're going up there to get this done. Right. right. We have made it very, very clear that we will not start violence. That it will not happen. But if they decide, as when I say they, I mean, you know, if the government decides that they're going to take it there, we're not running from them. They'll just have to shoot us dead on the street in front of God and everybody because that's what it's going to take to get people to to see what kind of extreme views and extreme moves that, they, that this agenda and this this, uh, this administration has taken over the years. And it, it's horrible. And I, I don't doubt one bit that they are very capable of doing such, such a, a travesty. Uh, Matt, uh, uh, is there is there any uh, talk of uh, requesting uh, re- requesting uh, permits to be armed at this event? Um, yes, sir. Uh, we actually have a security detail that uh, they they are going to be there for the patrons' protection. They're not there to do any kind of uh, 
any kind of offensive moves or anything whatsoever. It's just a defensive. Uh, de- they're going to be a defensive organization uh, and a tactical team, basically, to be able to to protect us in case you know anything goes south. What does America look like uh, the day after Obama is removed and whoever else? Do you have a list of people, by the way? Uh, he had a list. Oh yeah. Uh, well, we have a we have a list, and uh, that list is it's a uh, it's quite extensive. Uh, anybody anybody who has varied from constitutional law will be held accountable. The and the the uh, the, uh, the uh, they the, uh, will have a fair trial because that's you know that's what we're all about. We're all about the Constitution and following it. Right. And you know they're gonna get they're gonna get a fair trial. You know, and they're innocent until proven guilty. But when evidence is faced and is presented, uh, the severity of their punishment will come from the severity of their their uh, infraction. The uh, mission statement. The mission statement says the entire administration. Uh, so I guess there's the list, right? Well, uh, almost. It's not quite the entire administration. Are there any? Are there any? Are there any Republicans on the list? Uh, Operation American Spring. There was a uh, considerable number of Republicans on the list, including Boehner himself. Uh, is he on the list? I'm not. Uh, I, I'm not. I cannot expose uh, the names of such. Right. Uh, Right now, but I can okay. assure you it is quite an extensive list. No, I get you. I, I totally understand. Uh, finally here, um, you stated the uh, the ultimate goal of the group. You stated that is the removal of the Obama administration and perhaps uh, others. Uh, you stated that uh, you stated that uh, the ultimate goal is to not leave. And, I mean, am I reading that right? You guys are staying until this is done, right? Nobody's leaving? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure some of us will have to... Uh, have to go back home because uh, after all you know we are Americans and right. the economy is not as great as uh, we would like it to be to be right. able to afford to stay up there for weeks and weeks and weeks on end um, but we will have relief coming in and uh, you know I'm sure there will be countless countless bandwagoners that come up there once they see that our, our cause is actually coming to, pro- to fruition and um yeah, I mean we're 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 gonna have we're gonna have a lot of people stay up there, and uh, we're gonna make this happen. Uh, and you ask, what does America look like the day after? Yes. Well, um, we have a concrete plan of action, and that plan of action entails a immediate uh, an immediate reelection of people appointed by the state. Uh, we're going to basically reelect officials to fill positions. After that, after everything's all said and done, you're you're going to. What does that election look like? Uh, well, uh, that's who's all, the who's that's the electorate? I'm not exact. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, that's not my my end of the deal. Right. Um, you know, I, I've I've been spoken to about it from you know a little bit here and there, but uh, I, I don't want to uh, quote anything that's not going to be true. So it would be a massive by-election then. I see. I, I think you're painting a pretty good picture here. What? Give us a date and a time and uh, and uh, a place. And uh, has any of that been arranged yet? Well, uh, we're shooting for early December. Uh, I'm not exactly sure uh, the date right offhand. Um, there's uh, there's certain certain things as uh, within the group, you know, that that we're going with and stuff and. Uh, we're shooting for early December because, I mean, there's a lot of work still yet to be done. Right. Um, but whether it be... Uh, the That's only a month December away. That's only a month away. December, it's early December sometime in that, in that general area. Yeah, you've only got a month, man. That's not a long yeah, time. Yeah, I know, man. It, it's crazy. we got a lot of work still to do, but uh, we, we're getting it done. I'm confident that, uh, I'm confident that we're going we're gonna to manage. Well, that might be a great Christmas present for a lot of Americans, huh? Absolutely, I do. I do believe so. Listen, Matt, uh, you've been. Uh, it was great to have you on the show and to talk to a uh, true American patriot and uh, somebody who who cares. And you know, no matter where this goes, uh, my hat is off to you. That uh, you are one of those rare individuals who cares enough to take a stand for his country. And thank you so much for being on the show. Uh, would you like to close it out for us? Any closing remarks here? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I thank you for having me and. Uh, we're, we are, I'm not the only individual 
that's willing to put my life on the line. Just by being on your radio program right now, I'm putting my name in the public domain. I, I've, I've received death threats already. Uh-huh. You know, it, it, it's, it's a horrible, horrible world out there, to be honest with you. And uh, if I could close you with anything, I heard a quote uh, a while back. It says, uh, hold on, let me find it here. I got it. <laughs> it says, uh, live simply, love generously, care deeply, speak softly. And leave the rest to God. Amen, brother. What a great way to end it. Matt Menchu, uh, he is a, a elected speaker for Operation American Freedom. Matt, all the best to you, sir. Uh, keep in touch. Uh, let us know what's happening uh, as much as as often as possible, will you please? Uh, thank you very much, man. And uh, if you want to look us up, we're on Facebook at Operation American Freedom. Uh, you can check us out there. Um, I'm sure you can hear more radio broadcasts and what have you. Uh, over the next few uh, over the next few weeks, I'm actually scheduled to be on three tomorrow. So nice. I'll uh, yeah, I'll keep y'all posted, man. I, I greatly appreciate y'all having me and uh, y'all supporting our cause. Please do, uh, Matt. Uh, you've been listening to PP Simmons Radio. My name is Mike Shoesmith. We'll talk to you next time.